Welcome to the Rugged World of Rawhide, a TV series that takes you back to the dusty trails of 1959 following the trials and tribulations of a cattle drive. Starring a young Clint Eastwood as Rowdy Yates, the show unfolds against the backdrop of the Old West. But hold on, there's more to this cattle drive than meets the eye. As you delve deeper into the series, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. There are moments that will tickle your funny bone, others that will leave you shocked, and some that might just bring a tear to your eye. So keep those eyes glued to the screen. Now here's a question for you. Can you share a personal story of how this TV series has inspired or impacted your life? We know Rawhide has a special place in the hearts of many, and we want to hear your experiences. And speaking of experiences, what's your most cherished memory or personal story related to Rawhide? We're all ears, so drop your stories and memories in the comments below. Your tales might just make someone's day. So saddle up and get ready for a ride through the Old West with Rawhide. There's more to discover, and we can't wait to hear from you. Share your stories below, and let's keep the Rawhide spirit alive. Step into the rugged world of the 1959 TV series where the dusty trails of a cattle drive come to life. Imagine the Old West unfolding on your screen with a young Clint Eastwood leading as Rowdy Yates. As the sun sets over the vast, untamed scenery, witness a tale that goes beyond wrangling cattle. What makes this show stand out isn't just the breathtaking views or the thundering hooves of the cattle. It's the storytelling that takes you on an emotional roller coaster. From moments that make you laugh to those that leave you on the edge of your seat, Rawhide leaves a lasting impression. This series reflects the era it represents, offering a glimpse into a time when the Old West wasn't just a backdrop, it was a character itself. The lively scenery isn't just a canvas, it adds layers to the challenges faced by the characters. Now, picture yourself at home, transported to a world where cultures clash, characters are tested, and dreams are pursued under the open sky. Rawhide becomes more than a show, it's an immersive experience, a journey through the trials and tribulations of those on a cattle drive. Have you ever been inspired by the resilience of characters like Rowdy Yates? The impact of Rawhide isn't just in the episodes watched, it's in the personal stories and cherished memories woven into the lives of viewers. As we explore the Old West together, share your cherished memories or personal stories related to this series. Your tales can resonate with others, creating a community bound by the rawhide spirit. So saddle up and join us as we traverse the plains of nostalgia, discovering more about the show that has left a lasting impression on many hearts. In 1966, tragedy struck the rawhide team when Eric Fleming, the lead actor, drowned in Peru while filming a movie. At 41 years old, his untimely demise cast a shadow over the production. The loss was deeply felt, leaving a void that would be challenging to fill. As the 1960s rolled in, Clint Eastwood, who portrayed Rowdy Yates in Rawhide, began carving his path to stardom. His first two westerns for Sergio Leone gained him recognition, especially in Europe. Capitalizing on his rising fame, the producers hastily stitched together two Rawhide stories, Incident of the Running Man and the Backshooter, incorporating additional footage. This amalgamation, titled The Magnificent Stranger, was strategically released in Europe in 1966, with the advertising prominently featuring Clint Eastwood. However, the actor was displeased with this move. Upon discovering the altered release, he promptly engaged his lawyer, resulting in a cease and desist notice that halted the film's distribution. Since 1967, it has not seen the light of day anywhere or on any home media. In the episode Incident of the Death Dancer, aired on December 5, 1963, the show showcased a different side. Actors Dick York and Barbara Eden, the latter of future bewitched fame, portrayed a grifter couple. Barbara Eden's performance of the dance of the opium den in an outfit later reprised in I Dream of Jeannie added a unique touch to the episode. Rawhide's journey, though, was not all smooth trails and cattle drives. Eric Fleming's tragic end, the questionable release of The Magnificent Stranger, and the unexpected turns in certain episodes demonstrated the series' resilience and ability to navigate the unpredictable terrain of showbiz. The show's journey isn't just in the episodes watched. It's a trek through the complexities of life in the Old West, where triumphs and tribulations intertwine. As we traverse the plains of nostalgia, contemplating the challenges posed by Eric Fleming's departure and the twists in the show's narrative, we're reminded that Rawhide is more than a series. It's a journey through the complexities of life in the Old West, and it was.
In the world of Rawhide, the show took an unexpected turn in season eight when the central figure, Gil Favor, exited the scene. Clint Eastwood's character, Rowdy Yates, stepped into the lead role, causing a shift that impacted the series' ratings and eventually led to its cancellation. The reasons behind this decision remain unclear, with Eric Fleming, who played Gil Favor, jokingly suggesting in a later interview that the studios did it to save a million dollars. However, records show that Fleming did not receive such a substantial amount. Gil Favor's departure marked a notable change in the show's dynamics. Clint Eastwood, gaining recognition for himself, took the forefront. Despite the drop in ratings, Eastwood's portrayal of Rowdy Yates showcased his evolving talent, hinting at the stardom he would achieve later. Beyond the on-screen drama, Rawhide had interesting character details. Sheb Woolley, known for Pete Nolan, found musical success with a novelty song, The Flying Purple People Eater in 1958, reaching the one spot on the Billboard charts. Characters like Wishbone and Mushi added layers to the cast, contributing to the show's richness. Tragedy struck Rawhide in 1966 with Eric Fleming's untimely death. His passing cast a somber shadow over the production, forcing the series to navigate uncharted waters. Meanwhile, Clint Eastwood's rising fame led producers to compile Rawhide stories for a European release, sparking a legal dispute with Eastwood due to dissatisfaction with the altered release. Episodes like Incident of the Death Dancer added unique flavors to Rawhide, featuring guest stars like Dick York and Barbara Eden, the latter gaining future fame in Bewitched. Barbara Eden's performance of The Dance of the Opium Den in this episode showcased the show's ability to experiment with its narrative. Rawhide's journey, marked by the departure of key characters, legal disputes, and unexpected twists, encapsulates the unpredictable terrain of showbiz. It goes beyond being a series, offering a trek through the complexities of life in the Old West, where triumphs and tribulations intertwine. As we traverse the plains of nostalgia, contemplating the challenges posed by Eric Fleming's departure and the twists in the show's narrative, we're reminded that Rawhide is more than just a series. It's a journey through the complexities of life in the Old West. Clint Eastwood's connection to the TV series Rawhide goes beyond the screen. In later Spaghetti Westerns and the acclaimed Unforgiven, he continued to embody the spirit of his Rawhide character, Rowdy Yates, donning the same boots and wielding the same gun. This unique continuity echoes through the rugged tales of the Old West. Interestingly, the show's theme made its way into the Blues Brothers, emphasizing Rawhide's influence on popular culture. A simple tune from the cattle drive resonated across different genres, showcasing the show's impact beyond its initial airing. Clint Eastwood, at 28, stepped into the boots of Rowdy Yates, even though the character was intended to be 19. This age difference adds complexity to Rowdy's journey, highlighting Eastwood's ability to portray a character at various life stages. In the tumultuous journey of the show, the unexpected departure of Eric Fleming brought forth challenges. The series' resilience became evident as Eastwood, propelled by his success in Spaghetti Westerns, stepped into the lead role. The shift in dynamics and subsequent cancellation marked a turning point in its trajectory. As Rawhide navigated uncharted territories, it faced legal disputes. The producers hastily compiled the show's stories for a European release, triggering a disagreement with Eastwood over the altered version. This legal tussle emphasized the actor's commitment to preserving the integrity of his work. Noteworthy episodes like Incident of the Death Dancer showcased the series' versatility. Guest stars, including Dick York and Barbara Eden, added unique flavors, with Eden's performance leaving a lasting impression. The show's ability to experiment with narrative elements reflects its varied nature. In the evolving journey of Rawhide, details like Sheb Woolley's musical success and the diverse cast contributed to its richness. Tragedy, legal disputes, and unexpected twists underscored the unpredictable nature of showbiz, portraying Rawhide as more than just a series, it's a journey through the complexities of life in the Old West.